Colorado lawmakers are looking for ways to save people money on their prescription drugs. One drug Democrats are focused in on, an expensive yet potentially life-saving one, epinephrine. A pack of two EpiPens can cost between six and $700, but a new bill would cap that price at just $60. Prices for a two-pack have increased by around $680 in the last 15 years, despite this life-saving medication only costing $8 for the manufacturer to produce. Companies are profiting, uh, while Colorado families have no choice but to budget for these large uh, annual costs for life-saving medication. Allison Zimmerman spoke with Coloradans who rely on EpiPens. They say capping the price could be life-changing. Michaela Bradley has some severe allergies. I'm allergic to mangoes, peaches, and blueberries. But with some puppies and cats at home, luckily her furry friends aren't on that list. I can't take Tylenol, acetaminophen, I can't take hydrocodone, oxycodone, none of that. A few years ago, she went to urgent care for her back pain when she says she was given the painkiller shot Toradol. And I didn't know I was allergic to Toradol. She says she started going into anaphylactic shock, but was released. She went to a different urgent care and was given an EpiPen. It was there she learned she had more allergies than just fruits. Because you're allergic to almost every pain med. Uh, yeah, I know. Almost every pain med there is. And, you know, I'm also allergic to a few fruits. So they're like, you might as well just have a prescription of an EpiPen. It was crazy. Bradley is one of thousands of people in Colorado with an EpiPen prescription. Always put it in your thigh. You can put it through clothes. You just have to push extremely hard. Um, and you'll hear it click. So when, after it clicks, that's how you know. I right now for a pack of two, it can cost someone between six and $700 without insurance. The generic version is about $400. EpiPens expire after about a year and are one time use. Come on. Bradley has it covered through insurance, but that's not the case for everyone. The first thing you do is when you get the prescription is you look at the box to see, to hope that it expires at least a year out. Ann Bernard's daughter Eden is deathly allergic to peanuts and tree nuts. Her allergist said she was deathly, and she said, I want you to understand, Mrs. Bernard, the word deathly is what I'm using with, and she named off three different um, tree nuts. She discovered the allergy when Eden was only 17 months old. Clawing at her neck, suffocating, her face was twice the size, bright red, she's crying, she doesn't know what's going on. Eden is now in middle school and not only lives with her allergies, but a brain tumor. Bernard says she usually waits until they've met their prescription drug deductible every year, which is about $3,000. At the mercy of the EpiPen company, and they know that. <laughs> State lawmakers are looking at a solution. Deciding whether or not to access this life-saving medication can mean the difference of making rent or not. Representative Javier Mabry is sponsoring a bill to try and cap the cost at $60 for a pack of two. This cost the manufacturer $5 to make when it's clearly just extra profit. It's a similar proposal to a bill the legislature passed in 2019 to cap the cost of insulin. That bill passed with bipartisan support. Right now, there are no Republican sponsors. Mabry says lawmakers across the aisle, though, will be coming forward to pass this bill as well. And this is accessed by fewer people. Um, so if they were okay with going that expensive on insulin, I'm, I, I'm confident that uh, uh, my Republican colleagues are going to uh, work with us on this as well. The bill does have some opposition from the insurance industry. That's not affecting the actual price of those of the drug and it's just shifting the price from the at the counter to then being wrapped up into premiums later on down the road. Brandon Arnold is with the Colorado Association of Health Plans. It's the trade association for the insurance industry. Capping the cost for the consumer at the counter doesn't actually deal with the root cause, which is the exorbitant price of these drugs to begin with. Just like throw it on. But for people like Bernard, she says the price is just way too much, and the state's proposal is something that could help her family. That's huge, huge and long overdue. It's, it's, this is a life-saving medication. It's not, it's not like a prescription, like a vitamin D or something. It's just not, it's not something that we can go without.
Digging deeper into health care costs, the rise of high deductible health insurance plans laid groundwork for more expensive prescription drugs. According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, just 17% of workers had a health plan with a deductible of at least $1,000 in 2009. By 2021, that rose to half of all workers. The average deductible in America now sits at $1,700 per person or more than $3,000 for families.